guys welcome back to my channel today we're talking about winter hacks because it is january and i am in toronto and it's winter although right now it's raining and really mild so please excuse my hair it's a little bit greasy and bleh. i just had some extensions put in and you can't wash your hair for at least two days and my hair gets greasy really fast. I kind of wanted to do a roundup of hacks that are not just like wear a good moisturizer, you know, exfoliate your skin and et cetera, et cetera. Cause I feel like those are kind of things that a lot of us know by now. So here are my top five tips. I'm gonna do a few beauty ones and then I'm gonna show you a few fashion things that I've kind of picked up and that are really helpful for me during the winter. The first thing I use is a humidifier. It is so helpful for my skin. I get really dry, itchy skin, like unbearably itchy and my lips get cracked. And especially when I have a cold, like I do now or get sick, I'm like so dry and like flaky around my nose and it's just like not good all around. So I use a humidifier, which is really, really helpful for dry skin. And it obviously puts moisture into the air and I love I love my humidifier. Okay, the second thing is a little hack that I picked up just because I get really dry under my eyes. So I actually mix my eye cream. I'm using the Burt's Bees eye cream with royal jelly. You can use your favorite eye cream. So I'll just put some on my hand and I'm basically making like a super moisturizing under eye concoction. That's kind of what it looks like. And I just put it under my eyes. I just find it so much better than having like dry under eyes and then putting concealer over. And then I also will actually put it around my nose because that gets really dry. And you can up the concentration of concealer to eye cream if you want something that's like a bit more pigmented. I do this all the time. I will do this throughout the day too. Like if I put my concealer on in the morning and it's just looking a bit like liney, you know, like it settles into your fine lines and it gets really dry, then I'll, I'll actually like re-put on some concealer mixed in with my eye cream. And I like this eye cream a lot because it doesn't get too shiny. Because sometimes if you're like super shiny under your eyes, you're basically just like putting a spotlight onto your bags and dryness and fine lines and nobody really wants that. So yeah, I love doing this around my nose, especially as I'm getting over a cold. I was sick over the holidays and for New Year's, even though I'm not really a big New Year's person anyway, but didn't do anything. Well, I hung out with my cousin and we had a really fun time actually, but I didn't like go out or anything. Okay, that is looking much better. So the next thing I'm gonna do is my winter lip ritual. And I'm working with Burt's Bees on this and I'm a huge Burt's Bees fan. I've been using their stuff for a really long time. And I started using their lip scrub about two years ago. And it's become a staple in my, especially my winter like beauty routine. But they've kind of come up with this concept of like a take on the multi-step Korean skincare beauty regime, but for your lips. So it's like a ritual of nourishing your lips in the dry winter. And Burst Bees is also Leaping Bunny certified, so they do not test on animals. They use natural ingredients, responsibly sourced, and they also have sustainable and recyclable packaging. And all of those things are becoming more and more important to me and are definitely things that I want to try and look for coming into 2020. So my first step is the conditioning lip scrub. As you can see, mine is very well used. I have long nails, so I do it like this. I just take a little bit and put it on my lips. I do this every day. You don't have to, but I get such dry lips in the winter. So it actually has honey crystals in it. So it like gently exfoliates and it conditions. It smells really good. So I'll usually do this at night or if I'm wearing like a intense lip, I'll do it before then as well. Then you just take a washcloth and wipe it off. 
don't wash it off or anything. It, it has like nourishing ingredients in it that are good for your lips. So the next thing is my overnight lip treatment from Burt's Bees. You can see this is also well loved. You actually don't need a ton for this. Although I'll, I'll put a lot on before I go to bed. It just gives you really deep, long lasting moisture and it actually shields your lips from dryness too. So you can put it on before you put lipstick on or just as like a lip treatment. It has natural emollients, waxes and oils that's like really helpful in shielding your lips from dryness. This um, product is newer to me. It's the Hydrating Lip Oil. It's a really nice oil, but it's not too sticky or oily because I hate that. It's nice as a lip gloss or just as like a nourishing oil. And then you can also put it over your lipstick for like a super glossy look. They also have the Burt's Bees Lip Balm, which is kind of a cult product. Mine is the ultra conditioning or the one I have right here is I have them kind of all over the house and in my bag and stuff. They are 100% natural and they're made with responsibly sourced beeswax. Okay, so now we're gonna do the styling part. Here we go. So I am gonna show you how I layer. And I know that layering is obviously not a new concept, but I feel like people use too bulky of layers and that they also don't take advantage of how many you can use. So I thought I would just show you how I do it. I'm gonna start with a thermal long sleeve tee. I got mine at Uniqlo. It's like fitted and is a really good base for everything else because you can put a lot over top. You can get black or whatever color you want. I just happened to get this one. So this is actually a Uniqlo little puffer and it's really, really thin, so it's great for wearing under pieces that you kind of want to look chic, but also warm with. So, don't worry, this gets better. And you can also pin this down. There's a snap here, so you can make it like that. Next, I'm gonna put on a blazer. And I like to wear a blazer underneath my coats because I'm always cold inside, but I don't want to wear like a big coat inside always. So then we have this blazer from Ritzia, and then I'm going to do my coat. So I've got three, four, five layers on. I'm not looking super bulky. Obviously, like there's some bulk because you have lots of pieces of fabric on you, but... <laughs> And then you can go in with accessories. So, do a toque, as we call it in Canada, or a beanie. This one's from Acne. Or, more appropriately, I got this as a Christmas gift from my cousin. A Hogwarts toque. Here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna do bottoms. So, I'm starting off with leggings. These ones are just from Maritzia. I actually need to get a pair of really thin thermal leggings from Uniqlo or wherever. And then I'm gonna add jeans. Just cause I find that jeans are not super warm, especially if they're not tight to your body in the winter. And when you get like anywhere that air can come in, it's so cold. So there we go. And then I usually wear like a thick pair of wool socks and then whatever shoes, usually like a boot or something. This is how I layer. I'm actually really hot now. <laughs> okay, my last tip is actually a way of storing winter stuff. And this is how I store my winter sweaters, especially like nice cashmere sweaters. If you just put them on a hanger, it stretches out the knit like basically because it's hanging it'll like stretch lengthwise slowly and it'll lose its shape you can also get little like hanger dents here so i'll just show you how i store this sweater okay so you want to fold your sweater in half and then place it like so then you're going to put the hanger on like that and fold one side down and in and the other side down and in and you basically get something that looks like that 
So obviously this doesn't stretch in the same way because you don't have a ton of weight on the bottom, like it's more evenly distributed. And it actually is quite thin for storage. It's easier than folding your sweaters and putting them on a shelf. And then you just hang it up. If you happen to live in a place that's really cold, then I'm sorry, and I hope that these tips are helpful for you. I am from the West Coast originally, and I don't actually do that well in the cold. So if you guys have any other winter hacks, that really work for you, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!